Women pastors, they are growing by the thousands in most church denominations in America and around the world. Almost every pulpit, every stage and congregation has a female pastor. Do you think that women in evangelical circles where women are not allowed uh, to preach, uh, let's say the Palin and McCain do win, and here you have this woman that could possibly be leading the free world, uh, and yet there's evangelicals voting for her that don't even believe that, that a woman should preach at the pulpit. Every woman that said God called and saying to preach the gospel lies on God. Today, we'll dive into one of the most hotly debated issues in the church today, women serving as pastors. You've seen them on television, probably watched them on YouTube, and even attended their events online or in person. They have millions of followers, published many books. Some are eloquent keynote speakers, persuasive communicators, smart, witty, and can move thousands with their words. Do you think the woman with the issue of blood cared about what she looked like? The woman, all right! I'm about to take it off! This is a false pastor. Women pastors, co-pastors, and elders in a church is a reality that we cannot escape and have learned to sort of live with. I feel like... So just because you feel like you're gifted to do something, that doesn't give you the right. But the question that always come up in my mind when I see a woman pastor, co-pastor, or a woman elder in the church is this. Does the Bible permit women to be pastors and elders in a church? I mean, it's an open and shut case. No elder can be a woman because an elder has to be a, a one-woman man and the head of his own household. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12, I do not permit a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. So, because the Bible says so. Pastor Gino Jennings has boldly challenged every woman preacher declaring that they are going against the teachings of the scriptures. I'm anointed by God to teach the word. I'm his child. I'm called by God. And God's anointing gives me the authority that I need to do what I'm doing. And when you start hearing that kind of stuff from Christians, that's a good indication for somebody that you don't want to spend a lot of time with and you need to get away from. Jesus never taught that, and the Apostle Paul who wrote half of the New Testament did not instruct this either. There is no woman who authored any book of the Bible. No Old Testament ongoing prophet who authored scripture was a woman. No apostle of the Twelve was a woman. No elder in the church in the New Testament is a woman. You don't have a woman in the Bible that's called the bishop. No. You don't have a woman in the Bible called an evangelist. Right. You don't have a woman in the Bible called a deaconess. Yeah. You don't have a woman in the Bible called an assistant pastor. That, amen. You don't have a woman in the Bible called a missionary. That's right. Gino Jennings boldly challenged every woman preacher. He passionately asserts that every woman claiming to be a preacher has never been sent or called by God. Every woman that said God called and saying to preach the gospel lies on God. That's right. Gino Jennings urges women preachers to return to what is written in the Bible, emphasizing the command for women to be silent in church and to possess a meek and quiet spirit. I suffer not a woman to do what? I suffer not a woman to teach. Why are you in the pulpit? This conversation is as old as time, yet it continues to challenge traditional beliefs and push the boundaries of gender roles and leadership in the church. I'm talking about the conversations about whether a woman should preach or not. So what does the Bible say about women in the church? And it's not any kind of commentary on the spiritual equality of women. Of course, in Christ, we're all one. There's neither male nor female. And it's, it's not a commentary on women as something less than. It simply identifies them as different than. Men are given the responsibility of leadership throughout society. I mean, that's God's design for marriage in, inside and outside the church. The Holy the Spirit never inspired any of the Bible writers to write anything that would suggest women are to be pastors, co-pastors, or elders in the church. So it's absolutely explicit in scripture that women are not to be pastors. If that is the case, then why do we have a flood of women pastors and co-pastors in churches ordaining women as pastors in the church today? And I'll tell you why. Because I couldn't find a scripture to back it up. 
That's the honest truth. One divine statement answers the question, what does the Bible say about women preachers? It's in verse 35. The last part of the verse, it is improper for a woman to speak in church. It is shameful. That is a recognized judgment on all such behavior. The same as teaching for sordid gain and in Titus 1.11, disgraceful, shameful gain. It might be shocking to you to know this, but in a survey conducted in 2017, about 80% of Americans are comfortable with a female pastor. 62% of practicing Christians are open to women pastors. 40% of evangelicals are fine with women pastors. In pastoral training, there's a degree, a graduate degree called a Master of Divinity. It's generally speaking a three or four year degree to prepare you for pastoral ministry. 50% of women enrolled in seminaries, 50% of, I should say, MDiv students in seminaries are women preparing for pastoral ministry. 25% of seminary faculties are women. That means you have women faculty members teaching women students to be pastors. 11% of seminary presidents are women. 27% of pastors across this country are women. This is an explosion. In 1960, 2% of clergy were women. The women's movement has basically just erupted in the church. And the last frontier for the movement is the evangelical church. The last frontier to fall victim to the rebellion of feminism, along with cultural Marxism. It's important to understand that this isn't about men versus women. There are women who believe that the Bible places restrictions on women in ministry and that they shouldn't serve as pastors. On the flip side, there are men who think women can absolutely be pastors and that there are no biblical restrictions on women in ministry. This isn't about chauvinism or discrimination. It's really an issue of how people interpret the Bible. Different folks read the same scriptures and come to different conclusions. If you happen to walk into a church and find a woman on the pulpit preaching her heart out, what would be your reaction? 